Friday, August 26, 2005, will become the last day of my old life. This day was a normal day. I did what I did every other Friday. I went to school and then went to the football game to cheer my team on. I never thought that this would be the last time that I would follow that routine. The next morning, when I woke up, my father told me that we were under a mandatory evacuation. I had three hours to pack up my life and leave. I took what I could and started a journey that would eventually lead to a new beginning. The next couple of days, my family and I sat in Houston, Texas, anxiously waiting to hear something. It was not until two weeks had passed that we finally received confirmation that we would be starting over. This confirmation came by way of the internet. I found a picture of my school flooded and of my football stadium flooded. After the initial shock of losing everything hit me, I realized that we had no other choice but to start a new life. Starting a new life is easier said than done. Over the next couple of months, I had to overcome many challenges. First, I had to register in school. The school that I left had about 200 people, and the school that I went into had over 3,500 people. This transition was very hard because I had to go from being a large part of my school community to just a tiny little dot. I did not get involved in this school, and I ate lunch by myself every day that I was there. I told my dad that he had to get me out of this place because I was not going to make it. He left us with our, with our aunt and went back to Louisiana to search for a place to stay. In the meantime, I began to realize that living in Houston was not going to be so bad after all. Although my experiences at school were not that good, my experiences outside of school were great. I never knew that people could be so generous. We were overwhelmed with donations. We were giving everything from basic necessities to furniture for a house that we didn't even have yet. The people of Houston were just so wonderful to us. My dad returned and told us that he had found a house in Morgan City. He told us to pack up everything because we were moving. My new school Morgan City High was a much smaller school with about 850 students and the kids were very friendly. I became a part of this community. I feel like I am important here. This whole ordeal definitely taught me a lot. I now know that there are kind people in the world and that everyone is not out for personal gain. I feel a duty and sense of responsibility to give back to others who are hurt and need help. Hey. I've also learned that Mother Nature doesn't discriminate. This hurricane affected young and old, black and white, rich and poor. We should never underestimate the power of a disaster to change lives.